All right, not too far away already. We'll have more on dates in a minute. Dust, debris, control, and safety are keywords in making sure the teardown of the north mile of the viaduct goes as planned. But here's another one, deadline. It's a movie we have seen before. The south mile of the viaduct was torn down in 2011, but this time the demolition has to be surgical as buildings are a lot closer, in some cases, mere inches. Pretty big contract just to do all the noise monitoring and the vibration monitoring that we have to do as we're going along. Phil Wallace is the senior operations manager for Kiwit, the contractor that will bring down what remains of the viaduct. When we get really close to building, we'll actually be saw cutting the concrete out so we take it out in a bigger piece. So there won't be that demolition activity right beside the building. This DOT video shows how it will happen. In a typical double-decker removal plan, we will start with the top deck removals. We'll then remove the lower deck, and following the lower deck removal, we'll remove the columns. And this process is repeated throughout the double-decker viaduct. But schedule is everything, and most of it needs to be done before the tourists return next summer. It starts in February once the tunnel is operational. First out in yellow, the Columbia Street section and its ramp. The main part in dark green, the majority of the waterfront tourist area from that Columbia section to near Pike Street. That's supposed to wrap up by the end of May. Last week, Thursday, they met with us. The printing of the maps that you've seen were so hot off the press that the papers were still hot. And they said we found a way to get it open on June 1. Bob Donegan of Ivers has led the waterfront business community, having the waterfront open by summer critical. 54% of the visitors to the waterfront come June, July, August, and September. So again, here are some key dates. January 11th, the viaduct shuts down, begins the three weeks of maximum constraint, as it's sometimes called. February 4th, the tunnel opens, then the teardown begins. Everything should be wrapped up in the viaduct teardown uh, by August. Fortunately, most of that will be well away from the busy tourist waterfront wow. area. Okay, so with the viaduct gone, what's the expectation for tourism traffic? It, it's very positive. So Bob Donegan was saying they believe by the time they add up all the numbers from last year, even with the viaduct, they will have topped about seven to seven and a half million tourists down there going. There's 48 different businesses down there. Um, Ivers just being one of them. And uh, they're thinking with the viaduct gone, with the park in, all of that out of the way, and more businesses now adding themselves on the other side of the surface Alaskan mm -hmm. Way street, we could see that double or even triple wow. in the years ahead. Even already that Alaskan Way traffic is just zinging down Alaskan Way. Yeah, that's, right that's now. already it's changed great. up. Now yeah. it's a matter of clearing the viaduct up. Okay, yeah. thank you, Glenn. Thanks, Glenn.